Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we're going back to the United Kingdom and we're going to be reviewing the Gin Foundry 90 Proof Trade Roots Collection Europa London Dry Gin. Right here, right now. Let's get into it. The Gin Foundry comes in at 90 proof, which is, of course, 45%. We are made in the United Kingdom, and our botanicals are definitely listed right here in the bottle, so don't mind old man Joe coming out now. So, of course, first and foremost, we have Juniper, yes, from Macedonia, Coriander from Bulgaria, Angelica Root from Belgium, Oris root from Morocco, fennel seeds from Turkey, bitter almond from Spain, orange peel from Spain, lemon peel, Spain, basil from Egypt, I can't believe it didn't say from New Jersey, and of course, grapefruit from Turkey. Here is the bottle. Look at this little beautiful basket, huh? It's stout. It's proud. It's got great font here. I mean, really cool. Almost like vintage-esque. It has, there's a lot of like other things going on. The Europa Gin, it says it right here too. It's like in a faded but raised lettering. There is their insignia. It's some weird lion seahorse. I, I don't know. On the back of the bottle, the Gin Foundry Europa London Dry Gin takes you on a trip to distant lands. For this artisan, artisan gin, we carefully hand selected 10 botanicals sourced along the Mediterranean trade routes. The botanicals are steeped in pure grain spirit overnight. I like where this is going. And then expertly distilled in a traditional copper pot still. Before bottling, we blend our spirit with pure Swiss mountain spring water. All right, that's a mouthful. Is th this process cheap or easy? We never ask that question. <laughs> we only ask what we can do to create the best gin possible. Where does your spirit take you? World Gin Awards. They got the gold category. Um, <laughs> The Gin Foundry, a Europa Gin, zesty citrus with the deep resinous spice, cassia, and clove aromas, a succulent texture, notes of orange, perfume, citrus, and white juniper, a tangy finish. All right, so I do see perforation, so let's try to perforate. Let's see if they did it right. Ready? Well, they did a realistic style cork, which is not that realistic. It just feels like another stopper, which is what it is. And it's painted with flecks and stained, I'm guessing, with the gin. I mean, unless they put that on there, it's kind of weird. No matter what. Oh, sorry, darling. What really matters is uh, what's inside this, right? There we go. Wow, I see wheat. Beautiful, beautiful legs. Mm. It is very nice on the nose. It is very fragrant, aromatic. There is um, whispering juniper, of course. Whispering. There's a lot going on uh, on the profile, the aroma here. Let's see what we can find out by doing the uh, tried and true salute. First, that burn, that wee burn, it is so beautiful. Traveling nice, low and slow and tight, how I like it, rolling down. The juniper, it punches you. There's definitely like this spicy, not spicy as in hot, but let's say zesty. 
zesty is the right word. The citrus notes, which are a lot, there is a lot of citrus in here. I could definitely pick out the lemon and the grapefruit. It kind of packs a punch right up in the forefront of, of your palate here, of right before um, the tip of your tongue and to the tip of your nose right here. It gets really um, scrunched, if that makes sense. And it's not from the alcohol, it's not the burn, it's the botanicals inside. Um, I definitely taste the juniper. Uh, there is um, the cassia, the cinnamon, S quality is really nice and spicy on the back end. Uh, the citrus though is more or less now taking over though and the juniper is kind of just faded out. So I think they're absolutely right what they're saying on their bottle. Uh, price point is right at $35. So I've only seen it total why not saying it's not out there with you know the mom and pop places but um, I do go to a lot of liquor stores. Okay, so we got two ounces going heavy pour on this guy. That's it. Fever tree, fever tree, what you want? Yes. We're gonna add lime. Funky shape number two going in from California. Grapefruit. All right here we are, salute, cheers. We have ourselves a beautiful gin and tonic to your health. See what happens. Mm. I mean, of course, right? The citrus notes, all the citrus that I put on top of all the other citrus that's in the botanicals is bringing it up to that forefront of citrus punch. It's very zesty. I've said that word now quite a few times. The juniper is definitely well in balance though with the quinine, the bitter, the, uh, botanicals that are on the background also in the middle palette are shining I get more of the orris the angelica uh, and then I'm getting the earthy cardamom coriander and almond cream very nice especially with the fever tree I mean you can't go wrong this is definitely a beautiful beautiful gin and tonic, one of the classic gin cocktails originated in gin land where gin joe lives. Unfortunately I cannot film where gin land is because they have laws and god knows I've tried. From me to you to you to me to everyone here in the states in the middle from sea to shining sea. Thank you so much. Coming back here with me, the Gin Joe, having another cocktail, another gin, a little story, a little history, all this jazz that you guys love, because I know I do. It's a passion of mine. This is why I call this my passion project. So, raise a glass to your health, and let's get through some of the bullshit that's going on out there in the world that we all have to deal with, right? Great way to solve that problem. Bastards. Ciao. Like, comment, and subscribe. And every Tuesday and Friday at 5 p.m. will be a new gin review from the Gin Joe. Cheers.